In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Mail Merge to create labels in Microsoft Word 2007. To begin with, you have Word open to a new blank document. And the best way to go ahead and start Mail Merge is by going up here to the Mailings tab. And when you click on this, you can see over here the Start Mail Merge group. You need to click on the down arrow of Start Mail Merge and select Labels. At this point, what pops up is going to be a Labels option box where you have to choose what size label you're going to be using. Uh, typically, this is done by the standard type of label that you might be using. Uh, typical vendors would be like Avery, Another one is Seedline Products. You need to look on the box of labels that you're using and find out what standard size label you're using. For today's demonstration, I'm going to be using an Avery 5263. And that is right here. Aha. Now, when I click on this, you'll notice over here, it lists my label information of the typical height, width, and page size. If for some reason, though, that you are not finding a label that fits the dimensions you need, you can always use the new label function and create your own very new label name. And as long as you follow all the vocabulary up here in the preview window, you can go ahead and create the dimensions of your very own label page. However, in my case, that's not what I'm doing. So I'm going to use 5263, the Avery size, and hit OK. And you'll see that in my document, this immediately pulls up a table. Uh, in fact, this is table tools up here where you can go ahead and adjust design and layout. However, once again, I'm using a standard size. I'm going to use the table that has automatically been inserted for me. Uh, at this point, the next thing I need to do is select recipients of my mail merge. Now, I happen to have an Excel spreadsheet set up with data that I would like to use. So I go up here to start mail merge, click the down arrow, and you do use existing list. And then I get to go ahead and browse where I'm going to find my list from. Excellent. Now I need to choose which of the worksheets in my Excel workbook am I going to use. I need to use sheet number one. And down here, you'll notice it says first row of data contains column headers. In my spreadsheet, that is true. So I want to keep this clicked. That is going to be the headers of all the information that I have in my columns. Okay. Now, I'm at the point where I am ready to go ahead and start designing my labels. My intention today is to make a greeting label. Uh, and so I'm going to first go ahead to my Home tab and set up my center alignment. And my text is going to be, hello, my name is dot, dot, dot. And uh, here I'm going to go ahead and customize all of my font as I wish. I would like to have something a little fun. I'm going to have hello in a nice big text. That looks pretty good. I'm going to have this part here in Comic Sans. Again, this is a label someone's going to be wearing on their shirt. I want it to be nice and legible. And now the next part is, is to insert the name fields. In Mail Merge, everything is described as a field, and your fields are determined by the headers that you have in your columns on your data source. In my case, my Excel document. So if I go back to the Mailings tab, and I go to here, Write and Insert Fields, if I click on the down arrow, you'll see these are the column headers I had in my previous document on Excel. 
I would like to have the insert of the first name, space, and then insert last name. Excellent. Now, one last thing I want to do, I want to put some color on my labels. If I go back to my Home tab, select some colors. I'm liking this color for the hello and for their names. I'm thinking mm, something nice and bright. And maybe I'll do that. So that's looking pretty good. Now, I'm going to go back to the mailings tab and do a preview results so that I can see how this is looking. And that one is looking pretty good. When I hit preview results, my first label is showing up. I'm going to click this off. Now, at this point, I'm pretty happy with the format. The thing I need to do now is update all of the rest of the records in my database and for my labels. So I'm going to go up here to write and insert fields and click on this button here, update labels. As you can see, it looks a bit of a mess, but don't worry. If I click preview results, you'll see that my lines are still, all my labels are still working out quite nicely. At this point, you have a few options. If you are done, you can finish. If you're not done, you need to go back and change something. In this case, I'm not really liking my font color here. I'm going to go back and change that back to black. I'm thinking that looks a little better. I'm going to preview results. Okay, I like that. And now I want this change to propagate to all the rest of my labels. I have to once again hit update labels. And once again, this is looking pretty good. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. At this point, I'm going to finish my merge. Now, when I click on this down arrow, you'll see a few options. Edit individual documents or print documents. My preference is to edit individual documents almost always because I'm not 100% convinced that I'm ready for this to go directly to the printer. So when I click on this, it's going to ask me, do you want to merge all the records, a specific record or a selection of the records? In my case, I would like it to select all of my records. I hit OK. It pulls them up in a brand new document, Labels 1. And once again, from here, you can go ahead and edit however you see fit. And if I go down, you'll see all the rest of my labels are here as well. Uh, this last one here is empty because it had no more data from my spreadsheet to fill in. So at this point, I could go ahead and print these out. I always recommend that you first print a test page on regular paper before sending it through on actual labels. The reason is, if you don't like the way it comes out, at least that way you've only wasted a piece of paper, and not a very precious sheet of labels. So I hope this might help you out in learning how to do labels using mail merge and an existing spreadsheet or database.